What is up, everybody? It's March 3rd, 2023, and we are finally out. I've been in a panic because I needed to do this video for you guys so you guys can see our town right after, this, right after the snow when it's beautiful blue skies like this. So this is the aftermath video, and uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. So right now we're in Big Bear City on Highway, um, it's still technically Highway 38, but it will be Highway 18 in just a moment. So we're gonna start off on, on the, the part of town that doesn't get as much snow. I'm really interested to see the Big Bear snow rule in effect. But yeah, I can't believe I got out. I can't, I can't believe they got me out. I was so high centered on snow, you guys. Like the wheels were barely even touching. But these dudes were so cool. They were so cool and so diligent. Oh my gosh, like, and I got the guy stuck in his $60,000 John Deere, <clears throat> I got him stuck because there's a, like a, a two foot drop off in part of our driveway and I didn't say anything. I, I just wasn't thinking about it because there's so much snow, it just didn't cross my mind. And I thought he, he was gonna beat my head in because the dude's a giant, but just a gentle giant, super cool dude, man. He's like, oh no, don't even worry about it. Stuff happens. <laughs> He's like, I, I own three, three, three other tractors and I'm gonna call one of them right now and they're gonna come and get me out of here. No big deal. It's all part of it, <laughs> you know? So that was super cool. That was super cool, but yeah, so this is our Big Bear Aftermath video. We're doing the whole entire valley. We're not gonna go up into Sugarloaf or, or anything like that. We might hit Upper Moon Ridge, but this is gonna be a long video no matter what. Yeah, guys, yes. Please like and subscribe. It's been a nightmare for me dealing with a rat issue and dealing with this. So hang on. <coughs> so yeah, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we are now on Highway 18, you guys, and we are, so Highway 38, when you come into the Big Bear Dam, instead of going straight, if you turn left at that stoplight, that's Highway 38, but if you stay straight on that, it turns into this Highway 18 on the back side. And this takes you down into Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley and Victorville area, stuff like that. In, in that order, actually. Lucerne, Apple, and Victorville. <laughs> Can't wait to see the possible lake out here for Baldwin Lake. But remember, the snow is going to get significantly less over here. This is just so beautiful. It's always less snow over here. getting that guy stuck though jeez louise i did a little short short video maybe like nine or ten minutes of them uh figuring it out and then getting one of the snow plows out i think that'll be an interesting video for you guys that's part of the big bear weather the and more part Temperature is 42 degrees. It was just 47 at my house. So once all this kind of starts to melt, this is gonna turn into a lake over here for a little bit. And it's so beautiful to have a big old lake on this side of town. Look, all of this, all that white you see there, that's all gonna be a lake. 
all that snow. It's, it's icy right now, with snow top. But uh, yeah, usually this is a dry lake bed over here. So gorgeous. Tell you what guys, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to winter time being over for the first time ever. And those of you wondering about next week, that snowstorm is not gonna pan out. Thank goodness. Cause it was looking like from uh, what Ben Brissy from Ben's weather told me, it was looking like it, it could be worse than what we just got, but all of that is staying to the north. I need to get the name of our plow dude today. His partner's name was Miles because I really want to shout both of them out. That guy's such a tool. He just passed me, passed that guy, passed the truck, passed that other car in that. Man, what, a, what an idiot. What an idiot. Seven years ago, I would have spoken my mind about that on this channel, but I don't anymore. I just keep it to myself. But I, I, I would have turned into an absolute sailor. So this is about where the lake will end right here. This is just so beautiful. But look guys, there's, there's significantly less snow on this side of town. Wait till we get over by the Big Bear Dam. You guys are gonna trip out. And then driving through Fawn Skin. What a gorgeous day. Temperature's back up to 44. I am truly just blown away here. Look at the sides of the road. Look, there's hardly any snow over here. Isn't this incredible, you guys? There's some, some, some dirt patches up there to the left. I know you can't see them because I'm looking through the camera. Also, at the, that second, can't see anything. But they hardly got anything over here. This is the way that it usually works, 90 plus percent of the time. Ben Brissy told me that when the storms come like backside, which isn't that often, they'll get a lot of snow over here. Yeah, so we're right about to the least snowiest part of town in about 100 yards. snowiest part of town right here. Now we're going to start heading back into Baldwin Lake. And we will be on Baldwin Lake Road. Look at how beautiful this is over here. And to think other parts of the mountain range got a lot more snow. It's unbelievable. That peak right up there is called Sugarloaf. I could be wrong, maybe it's that one over there. Not the one on the far left, but no, that's gotta be Sugarloaf up there with all the deep, deep snow. Sure, not, not, this, not, the ta not the little area of Sugarloaf, but Sugarloaf Mountain. attitude has totally changed since I got let out. I feel like I'm a little kid again. I feel free. I feel like I don't have a worry in the world. If I don't want to be around the rats, I can get the hell out of there. But we had some of you guys offered me to stay in your vacation properties for a few days while we get the rat situation taken care of. And I just want to say 
Thank you. It was DJ Paz and Paige Hogg. Thank you guys, man. Oh, absolutely amazing. The love, I can feel it big time. So thank you guys. This looks like a lot of snow, but it's not that much. Look at dry, dry passes right there. This is just from the snow plow. So as I said, we're, we're doing the complete Bear Valley tour. And I think the neighborhood we'll go up into in the hills will be Upper Moon Ridge because that's the snowiest part of town. The snowplow guys, they were telling me that it's basically a one lane road up there the whole way because there's so much snow. We get dry patches everywhere. So on the complete opposite side of this valley is the Big Bear Dam. And that is where we will see the most snow in the valley perhaps. I still can't believe I got, I'm out driving right now. Once again, you guys, if you guys are enjoying what I do, please hook me up and hit the like button for me and subscribe and hit the notification bell just to be reminded whenever uh, new snow videos come up. But this is a very unprecedented event that happened in the Big Bear area. I haven't seen this much snow on this side of town in goodness knows how long. I smell gas over here though, like really potent. Yeah, so just to plow my long driveway in that little area, it's like $850, you guys. I didn't realize it was that expensive. It's expensive. And these guys do 364 properties in two days. I'd like to go on a ride in, in one of those plows. If, if they would let me, that'd be cool. The, the guy that, that owns that whole plow service and then the, uh, the forestry service says, he watches my channel. When he pulled up, he's like, hey, I watch your channel all the time, man. I watch your channel to like see what's going on on this side of town, that side of town. It really helps me out, thank you. And I'm like, wow, like, that's super cool, man. <laughs> the, the dude is so cool. Like that put me in the best mood ever. The guy had the best attitude I've, I've ever, ever witnessed. I'm telling you what guys, people's good attitudes really do rub off, just like bad attitudes do. This guy was incredible. He should have been so mad at me. He should have been so upset with me. But he that he taught me a lot today. He taught me a lot of, uh, about how to treat people. I didn't do it on purpose. So we're starting to get into more snow as we head out of Baldwin. Still not a whole ton here yet, but we're starting to starting to get there. We're gonna take Big Bear Boulevard all the way to uh, the Big Bear Dam.
sharp right curve here. Now we're on Shea Road. Oh, look at the donkeys. Look at the donkeys. These are wild up here. There's three of them. Hey guys, how y'all doing? How's it going? You having a good day? That's a cool cow lick you got there. How you doing? You wanna come here? You wanna come say hi? How you doing? You got a name? How are you doing back there? Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. Look at him. Well, here come your friends, okay? Look at, there's a bunch of them. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Hey guys. You know you smell like a donkey? Hi, buddy. Hey, big guy. How's it going? And how are you today? You doing pretty good? Huh? You doing pretty good, huh? <laughs> Look at these guys. This is awesome. Hey, guys. How's your day going today? You doing pretty good? Well, hello. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. I'm just gonna follow them because I don't want to go cut around this blind curve. I've never seen so many up here. This is the greatest, you guys. This is the greatest, I'm so happy. But what are they gonna eat? That's what I'm worried about because all the snow is covering up all their vegetation. Work it, girl. Oh, what's going on here? Take it easy. Take it easy, buddy. There's people watching. There's kids around here. Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe we just caught that on tape. You are such a sneaky little dude, aren't you? Aren't you? He's like, get the heck out of here, bro. I have nothing to do with you. Hey, guys. Okay, guys, we're out of here. That was cool. That was awesome. We got some X-rated Big Bear Weather and More videos here. <laughs> wow, that couldn't have been any better, man. That was awesome. That, that even made my day so much better. Can't wait to tell my wife that we just saw all those donkeys. That is so cool. That one guy was honking at them like crazy, like, jeez. Have a little more heart for them, man. Man, people are flying through here. was awesome that was freaking awesome guys so what I heard is why they're here is because during our gold rush up here in the, I think it was the late 1800s or something like that, maybe early 1900s, probably late 1800s. Um, that's what they brought up here to help them um, with uh, moving a bunch of really heavy materials and stuff like that. And then when the gold rush ended up here, the short time that it lived, they just left them up here. So they ended up over the past 100 plus years just becoming a natural uh, 
just fixture of Big Bear. So we just passed where you would go up to Sugarloaf. I want to get this video uploaded so badly because of those donkeys. So cute. Now what else are we going to see on this ride? Big Bear City officially, folks. As I said, the further we go this direction, the more snow we will come into. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Oops. I'll roll on the window, it's really warm out here. It's 42 degrees. As I said, it was 47 at my house. Which I like that because this stuff is so cool. And guys, if I know you're, this is late in, in the video, but we're still getting to the snowier parts of town last. Um, destination Big Bear. That. I'm telling you, the owner, Nick Cargill, he's such a support. He's, he seems like such a wonderful man. So when you guys need some place to stay up here, go through Destination Big Bear's website. He's even p posted my channel on there and everything. Like, I didn't even know. So um, whatever we can do to give them as much business as possible, Destination Big Bear, you guys, okay? Obviously, the guys that just helped me were from, uh, they were contracted to work for Big Bear Vacations. So I don't think they would take it personally that I'm referring you guys to Destination Big Bear. But uh, I'm telling you right now, that guy is so cool and, and we're gonna come up with something for you guys where um, I have no idea, but it's gonna be something that ho hopefully saves, saves money for you guys and gives you guys better times to come up here. Just anything I can do to help you guys as much as possible. That's, that's what I'm super, super excited to do. Because you guys have been so loving and so giving towards me. So I will go out of my way to make sure that you guys can have a better stay when you come here. And Destination Big Bear, I believe, is the way. Thanks again, Nick Cargill. Once again, he's the owner. And I've heard great things about them, too. Some of these uh, agencies up here, you hear a lot of horror stories. I've heard nothing but good about his spot, so that makes me happy. And don't forget, guys, I would never, ever refer you somewhere if I heard anything really negative about it. Obviously, reviews are very subjective, but up here, you can, you, you can kind of get a grasp quickly. So yeah, and then maybe, it, until he and I talk, maybe send them an email and say that you spoke to Big Bear Weather and more to Nick and he referred you guys and just see see what what can happen because I'm someone who really does want to help our local business owners who try to help you guys those are the only people that I truly 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 love helping are people who are selfless trying to help others not trying to gouge everybody constantly but you got to remember this is a tourist town so whenever it's the tourist season, prices skyrocket. I understand. I completely understand. I'm not knocking anybody for trying to make money, but at the same time, give the best experience you can for the amount of money you're charging. That's the important thing. Right, Nick? That's what I'm talking about.
you know what? I think we'll, since it's kind of on the way in a weird way, we'll cut through. No, we won't. We'll just do that at the end. It's going to be a long video, y'all. A very long video. sound isn't too much fun here's big bear snow play this is the place where you guys can go pay to go sled to go sledding it's it's worth every penny you guys because if there's a mechanical walkway that pulls you up to the top so so the kids don't have to struggle and lose all their energy quickly even though i'm sure a lot of parents that's what they want their kids to wear out so that, so, so they aren't so rambunctious but if you want them to really enjoy themselves and have a lot a lot more runs than the paid places and the places to go. The Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain and this place, the Big Bear Snow Play. And no, not Six Flags Magic Mountain. that snow is it's, it's a black diamond right there guys <laughs> well I'll tell you what I'm, I'm happy to be out. Ready to drive this four cylinder all over town to show you guys everything in Big Bear. Or it, as I said, the only neighborhoods that we're missing are Irwin and Sugarloaf, okay? So I don't want you guys to be too bummed. I think we are gonna go down Moon Ridge first before we head, head to the other side of the lake, to the Big Bear Dam and then to Fonskin. snow summit that is so gorgeous and then bear mountain to the left of the screen i learned something also about my subaru today about that you screw in your little toe hitch it's underneath where the uh, spare tire is it's I don't know, guys. I've I, I've been a pencil pusher all my life, so I don't I don't like I don't know manly things. I I really don't. You know, I sold real estate, sold cars. That's what I was good at. Not necessarily the real estate thing because it was a, a family-owned operation, and I was young and spoiled, and I took advantage a lot. But when I sold sold cars. For my first three months, I was salesman of the month, and I had never sold cars ever. I want to get out from behind. Uh, this car is spraying all this nastiness up here. We're going to go into Upper Moon Ridge, the snowiest part of town. And then we're going to do an interview here, you guys, at Captain's Anchorage. This is my favorite restaurant in town. 
And then also, um, when I say favorite, I'm for, for that type of food, for sure. I like the atmosphere also. It's just super classy. So I'm looking forward to doing that in the next few weeks, hopefully. And then we also want to interview Mike, the owner of Big Bear Bar and Grill. They were going to have some of my favorite punk rock bands from back in the day playing there, as well as uh, he's also going to be, his restaurant got chosen to be on Bar Rescue after they came. The producers came and they did all these interviews, came back and interviewed some more and they got one of three slots for all of Southern California out of a couple thousand different bars that need rescuing. So that's pretty cool. It's right down the street from my house. The, the crazy thing is, is that I, I, I was told if I want to be in bar rescue, that the producers literally like lock the doors and they tape the whole show. So you have to be there for like seven straight hours. Um, I didn't realize that. I, I don't have time for that. Maybe I could go in and just be like, oh, I'm having a medical emergency as soon as I, as I want to leave. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that, but uh, pretty cool stuff, guys. Pretty cool stuff. And my friend Mike, who is the owner there also, he's, um, he is, uh, oh, what's that word called? where he can marry you. Um, oh my gosh, what's, what's wrong with my brain? Besides a lot of things. Anyway, he was gonna marry my wife and myself, but he went out of town for a few weeks and my wife and I, we decided that we just wanted to just get married quickly. So we went to the courthouse and her mom was a witness and my mom was a witness. feels like I'm in a different place right now. It doesn't feel like Big Bear. It's a good feeling right now. I mean, I trust me, I love my town, but being in the same place, never being able to leave because of work and stuff like that, it's tough for me. It's tough for me. I get cabin fever. Even though I lived on the big island of Hawaii, I never felt any island fever or anything like that. But up here, with storms like this, I definitely get cabin fever. All right, here we go. We're gonna head into Upper Moon Ridge and then we're gonna stop by Sheephorn for our friend, Hugh, Chip. This should be a quick drive up here. And then, as I said, we're gonna go the rest of the way to, a big, to the Big Bear Dam and Fonskin, and then that's it. you guys one lane and the higher up we get the less maneuvering we're gonna be able to do up here so I'm hoping a bunch of people aren't going up and down right now that's my hope But you know what they say, hope in one hand, crap in the other, see which one fills up first. All right, that was my uh, saying that my grandpa would say all the time. Ooh, power line down, no bueno. We almost drove right into it. Okay, so now we're in Middle Moon Ridge. This is Villa Grove, I call it Lower Villa Grove. 
And we're gonna make our first right here on Butte, B-U-T-T-E. And head up to Upper Moon Ridge. Let's do this, guys. This is, we're getting to the part of town that got the most snow. You, you can kind of tell who's here and who's not, like which homes are, are occupied when we get storms like this because the, the homes that are occupied, a lot of the snow is melted off the roofs from the heat inside. Hope the wrong people aren't watching when I say that. <laughs> I really do. Hope the wrong people aren't. But I like to like see how many people are actually up here right now and in these conditions I can tell. I can tell which houses are being used and which houses are not. My house doesn't have any snow on the roof. Yesterday we had an inch of snow on the roof. And we, and we got about four feet at my house total from the two, maybe three disturbances that came through. telling you these tractor guys are just so nice you would think they're you know because it's i don't know the stereotype would, would, would be like tough get out of my way type of people not up here not up in here okay we're back on villa grove you guys that little street that we just turned left on for the blink of an eye that's called mira m-i-r-a mira lane and we're coming up to luna here Luna is a tick, Luna tick. Apple CarPlay, let's see if we get, look, I've never seen the roads like that on the maps where it's red. Everything is red, all the main roads. But that's where we're at. Look at all the snow on that roof, no one's there. No one's there. Someone might, be. someone's there. It's pretty cool to be able to tell but it looks like there are a lot of people up here so I'm assuming a lot of these people were stuck so I'm really glad that the state did file an, an order of emergency a state of emergency to help get a lot of these people out because we have a lot of older retired people up here I mean, it's definitely not Florida. Look, people just come right, right out of the, right out of nowhere because there's so much snow you can't even see them. There's a lot of snow. So it looks like since they said there was only one lane, it looks like a plow must have come through again to kind of widen it a little bit more. But it's, it's only about one and a half lanes now, so it's still one lane. So we're starting to get into more of the snowier parts of Upper Moon Ridge. As I said, this is all the snowiest part of town, the whole valley. But we're entering the most snowy areas. It really 
really feels like we're in Mammoth or something. This is just unbelievable. I mean, not Mammoth right now, <laughs> but like Mammoth usually. through this, but it won't be a problem at all. If it was a much, much longer, it may have been a problem. Look at how beautiful that is. That is just gorgeous. And this car took a beating. I'm sad for it because it's my brand new car, but she took a beating, she took a licking, and kept on ticking. Alright, now Villa Grove is turning into Sunny Slope. we got to turn right here. And Sunny Slope turns into La Crescenta in about 30 yards, 40 yards. Here we go. I'm gonna stop now go. Okay, we're in a snowier park. Snowy's part. Doesn't look like a huge discrepancy from this side of Upper Moon Ridge to the other. But wait till you see up here. Literally takes just a block <laughs> to start seeing more and more snow. Look how much snow is on some of those roofs. Man. Beep, beep, beep yourself. Wish we could have done this yesterday. I had to walk and do the, the typical aftermath video with a really bad back. Look at how high this is. I'm just going to pull up next to it real quickly just so you guys can, can tell. So this is just right at my eye level and then look up. I mean, it's craziness. Hey guys, so we're gonna go by our friend's house, Hugh. Hang, hang on. Okay, I had to turn on blast the AC for a few minutes because the phone was overheating. Once again, you guys, it's not because there's so many programs or the video recording, it's because it's sitting in the windshield and the sun is magnifying it or the windshield's magnifying the sun and causing it to get really hot okay so now we're gonna go by one of our friends one of you guys you guys are my only friends you guys are all I need honestly and when I say need I'm dead serious I need you guys in my life So we're going to turn left on Luna, and we're going to take a look at our friend, 
his house because he wanted me to check it out to make sure everything was okay. But this is all part of the drive anyway. We come up one side of uh, Upper Moon Ridge and then go down, go down the other side. So we're only a mile away, it says. It should be less than a mile away. I don't know why it's saying that. This is where I almost got stuck driving to see his house the other day. Okay, so my GPS is stuck. I think I remember which house it was though. Not, not that one. Look at all this snow. How you doing, man? Working hard. This is just too much snow to shovel with your hands. I think we're coming up. see the address the snow is all the way up to the top of the, look it's up to the top of the door you guys look at that it's literally up to the top of the door this is ridiculous Snow's up to the top of the garage there. That's it's just so epic, you guys. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can stand up through my sunroof real quick. I don't even know if this is his place. I don't even know if that's his place, you guys. Chip, Hugh, I promise you, if I'm not getting it right, because my GPS is all screwed up. I'm pretty sure this was it, but there's another place right up here. Hang on, let me put on my seatbelt back. Let's put it back on again. Because my car's not liking that, I'm, that I took it off. My car loves me. I mean, I'm pretty sure one of those was it, but we're just gonna keep on recording these places just in case. We're going in reverse now. I just don't see any way out here. Gotta be smart. I, I think that's it right there, but I could be wrong. This house, you can't even see the front door. It's snowed from the roof, from the ground to the roof. How's it going, man? How's it going, Doing well, thank you, thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Hugh, I hope I didn't choke. I mean, there was nothing I could do. In the next couple days, I could come 
send you a personal video when they get a little more snow melt up here. Oh uh, yeah. Slush, slush, slush. We're slushy. I mean, look at that. That's snows up, up to, to the second floor of a third, third story house. <laughs> the second floor patio, they're gonna step right out. This is awesome sauce. Look at how much snow. And guys, I have no clue when the roads are gonna be open. Call 800 Caltrans or download the Caltrans Quick Map. The best way to learn, best way to know it, because I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this up here. Oh, don't high center again, dude. Just showing the address. Okay, we're getting back down to Middle Moon Ridge, Bear Mountain. You see all that fresh snow over there? We're gonna head over there real quick, drive around, take a look. And then we'll be headed back down to Moon Ridge Road to head back to Big Bear Boulevard on the way to the Big Bear Dam. This video is going to take so long to upload because I forgot I'm using the wrong camera. So it's, it literally will take twice as long. I'm so not happy about not thinking about that. Jeez. We're on Moon Ridge Road now. This will eventually turn into gold mine for a short stretch, which that is the road that Bear Mountain Ski Resort resides. Gold mine. Here's the golf course over here. They got some people skiing and snowboarding. Must be nice to have the mountain themselves. I'm enjoying it for drives like this, I'll tell you. This is a new Bear Mountain right here. I want them to go ahead so we can just take a nice look. There's no one behind us, so I'm not holding anybody up. Snow. Look at how beautiful and fresh that, that is right there. All right, guys, we're back on Moon Ridge Road. I am 
so disappointed this video is going to be so long it's going to take me so long not disappointed about how long it is but how long it's going to take to upload it's going to take about six hours you guys so we're not going to be seeing this until probably midnight i'm so disappointed i didn't even think about it i was so excited to get my car out my rental agency called me said hey there's a plow at the very end of the driveway and they said your car is blocking them and like i jumped up real quick and I'm not even wearing socks. I ran outside in my boots, but I ran and got a whole bunch of snow in my shoes. But it was worth it. A little frostbite doesn't kill anybody, you know? Just a little bit. I don't need all 10 toes, do I? So we still have, man, we still have a long way to go, you guys. I hope you guys really, really do appreciate what I'm doing. Because I'm doing this solely for you guys, especially for all of you that cannot get up here at the moment. It's really important for me to at least kind of help some of you live vicariously through me right now. Because I know I'd want to be up here so bad. And now with snow melting quickly, uh... I know, I, did, I have that right away, but I'm not in any hurry right now. So we're back in Lower Moon Ridge, folks. hit really good down here as well but the snow berms are nothing like they are in upper moon ridge aren't they <laughs> it's only a few hundred feet in elevation difference too but upper moon ridge is right up against the, uh, the mountain also so that that adds a lot more snow as well because from the lift from the storms coming in from the other side the storms hit the mountain side it the mountain pushes the storms upwards those storm clouds and that causes more condensing and you get heavier precipitation that way but it usually lasts like like right on the mountain there so if you're on the mountain let's say 8,000 feet you're in the flatlands but 8,000 feet you're in the, you're right next to the mountain you'll get a lot more snow a lot more snow look at all these places it's so awesome is so awesome. Okay, we just turned left onto Big Bear Boulevard from Moon Ridge Road, you guys. Police department right here. Thank you guys for all your hard work, everything you guys do. I appreciate you guys tremendously.
like I said, I'm really like the only thing I'm, I'm really glad about that they're not letting people up is that I'll be able to get through this drive. side roads right oh this looks kind of rough all right get some momentum come on buddy come on buddy oh this is gonna be rough right here oh no guys forgive me but I'm I'm I have to charge right here I don't have choice or else we'd be stuck. Oh my gosh, we're so lucky. So far, so far, so lucky. I don't know how we did that, guys. That was really, really bad. If I wouldn't have been gunning it most of the way, we'd be stuck 100%, 100%. So now we made it to Oak. You're an Oak. Alright you guys, here we go. Let's do this. So we're taking the back way into the village. We're not going to do the whole entire village. We're just going to do one half of the village because this drive is going to already be long enough. But as I said, it's the whole valley. The only area we're really missing is Sugarloaf. No one really knows about Irwin or with all due respect, even though it's a super beautiful area, no one really cares because not a lot of tourists go out there. That's a very localized area. It is absolutely gorgeous out there though. Irwin is very pretty. Right now we're on Pennsylvania Avenue. I don't see the White House though. to go go around we're not gonna make it through there either so now we might be able to go through the whole village we'll see oh, this guy I need to slow down let him buy me he'll create more damage on my car than I will on his is Knight Avenue, K-N-I-G-H-T, Knight. We're gonna take this back to Big Bear Boulevard. I think we avoided what we wanted to avoid anyway, originally. Now we're gonna make one more stop through the village. Oh, gotta get going through here. We have another friend who wants me to take a look at his place again, Earl. So we will go by Earl's place. Oh, I'm high centering right now. Okay, thank God. Jeez. 
So yeah, guys, I mean, this is why they aren't letting people up here because all the side roads, most of you would not make it. Not that you don't have the driving skills, it's just that, you know, a lot of, a lot of people might not have the right equipment. And they don't want to use all their resources getting people unstuck, is what I'm assuming. Yeah, there's hardly anybody on Big Red Boulevard. I love seeing it like this. Black Forest Lodge. through the village come on stay green baby stay green stay green thank you i appreciate you robin hood resort once again i love that place that's where i got gas when we didn't have any gas up here that was the first place to get gas it took three hours cars lined up all the way up this street as far as the eye can see but look at how, how great of a job they've done plowing this whole area out this is beautiful this is our village, man. Uh, the, the village. I can't wait for you guys to see the donkey, so that was awesome. You guys already saw it by now, so I don't know why I'm saying that, but I'm excited for you guys to see those, those jacks. Again, Oakside Restaurant just is hammered with the hat. Amazing. This is where we went walking, guys. We did this whole walk the other day from Moon Ridge. Pretty awesome. Let me roll up my windows in case this. Oh, I gotta roll up the. Okay guys, so we're starting to head towards the snowiest part of the valley, the valley floor. So everywhere in Big Bear that is about 6,800 feet or so, that's where we are going. Yeah guys, I would, I'd be stoked if, if one of you guys had a snow plow that you're trying to sell hang on to hang on to it for like six months for me because I'm really good at saving money a used snow plow one one that works well it doesn't have to be something big but something that I can take care of myself to get myself out and not have to rely on other people because my driveway is so long there's I, I even if I started two days ago there's no way that I'd be done
Do you understand how long of a video this is? Hitchhikers. Hit those places over there. So pretty. Can't wait to show you guys the lake when we drive over around towards Fonskin. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks, brother. Thank you, bro. Car's coming, we're good. Look at this, look at this flat area. Oh, it's so beautiful. This side as well. The lake used to come up just about to this fence that you see that, that's almost completely buried. This part of Big Bear Boulevard is like one lane. I've never seen it like this before. This is something special. This is remarkable. So this is Boulder Bay. If you turn right, you're going into Boulder Bay. But we are continuing, hoping the roads the, the roads open, going to Fonskin. I, I have a bad feeling about it, though. I have a feeling it's not going to be. Yeah, guys, these roads are hammered. No wonder why they aren't let, let anybody up. Everyone would be getting stuck. So yeah, we are in the snowiest part of the Big Bear Valley. This is so awesome. Though. So much fun. So a couple days, like maybe four days ago, my wife and I came out here after the first part of the storm. The road was closed right up here. So I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that it's it's not closed, that we can make it through. I just have a really bad feeling about it. Right, these roads are in horrible shape. They've done a great job, but it's still really, really bad. 
I mean, they really have done an amazing job, you guys, for all the snow we got. These guys really kick butt and take names. There's only so much they can do. So it was closed right around this corner to the left, please. It's still closed, no way. Okay, so we're gonna have to turn around here. Look at how bad it is over there. All right, guys, so we're going to stop it, and then we're going to drive all the way back through where we did, go back to Highway 38, and go as far to, in, into Fonskin as we can. I'm not going to let them stop us uh, going where we can go. All right, so just give me about 30 minutes to get over there, and uh, we'll see you soon. Love you guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please, please help me out. Please help me out. It really does help out a lot. Thanks, guys. All right, you guys, let's get this show on the road. We're about to turn left on Stanfield Cutoff. This lake view is going to be amazing. Amazing. I'm excited. I am really excited about it. And then a lot of the driving along the lakeside over on North Shore, AKA Highway 38 is gonna be spectacular. I think this is the elementary school. Yep, North Shore Elementary School. So we came over from that side. Now we are heading into Fonskin. And that sign said if you turn right, Victorville is 45 miles away. This is really beautiful. I've really never seen it like this. This is this is awesome. I've never seen snow berms this high on, on this side of the lake. But once we get to Fonskin, the snow starts to pick up even more over there. This is gorgeous. heard San Gorgonio, our highest peak in the mountain range, got over 25 feet of snow from these this series of storms. It's a lot of snow, huh, guys? Two and a half stories high? Yeah, it's a lot of snow.
So as you guys have noticed, <coughs> have noticed the main roads are not in that bad of shape at all. Most of them are in tremendous shape. It's the side roads. Obviously over by the Big Bear Dam, it's closed. Um, they haven't really done anything. It's bad. I wanted to do a drive all the way down to Crestline. If they open it by Sunday, I'll do it Sunday because I try to take Sunday off it if I can for my regular job. But I'm the boss, so <clears throat> I just don't want to lose customers, you know. I got to be open all the time. Well, ev all the time, meaning every day. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> We're in the beginning parts of Fonskin. I don't know why my voice is going out, but it is. You can see how tall these snow berms are because look at how short the people look. make this cord a little longer so I can stick my arm out further. So I am interested to see how far we can go. I know we'll be able to go through Fonskin, but I don't know how far it'll let us past Fonskin. It might shut it down at, well, no, they can't really do that because then they'd be trapping people in. So we could probably make it all the way to the dam, which we almost did driving that other side, but we didn't make it. Okay, downtown fonts again. Here we are. There's the Moose Lodge. Here we are. Look at 
this place, guys. Let me roll, roll down the sunroof so we can put it out the window. So much snow over here. <laughs> so we're coming up to the eagle habitat, you guys, where you guys watch our bald eagles. Look at this one lane. Shocking. Never seen it like this. Here come some beautiful views of the lake, you guys. Or maybe not. We might not be able to get the views. Holy moly. guys got those views right there but we'll have a lot more lake we're driving by shortly but hopefully these snow berms aren't too high for us Sorry about all the wind sound. Once again, you guys, this is Highway 38. So when you come into Big Bear through uh, Highway 18 on the front, drive through or past Snow Valley and then the little Arctic Circle and get to the Big Bear Dam, at that stoplight you would turn left to be on this road.
Okay, we're gonna get to the dam, you guys. Unbelievable, I thought it would have been closed off earlier, but I'm definitely not gonna go left, guys. <laughs> not, not like I did before. They got all these crews over here. So they're letting residents up, I guess? Here's the thing. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. This is getting into town from Highway 18. Look at this. This is crazy. This is insanity. There's no way through. No wonder why no one can, can get here. Look at that. No wonder. Woo! Let's just take one more look at that. Look at, look at Highway 18. Let's zoom in on that real quickly. Oh, you guys aren't coming up for a while. You guys aren't coming up for a while. At least not up this side. Holy smokes. That's really bad. Well, anyway, you guys, if you, really enjoyed what I do, please hit the like, subscribe button, notification bell, share the video, uh, but the likes and subscribe are super important to me. I would really appreciate it. I work really hard for you guys. I go through a lot of gas. Um, please help me out. Thanks guys. It's March 3rd, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. We are headed back. Take care y'all. I love you very much.